Are you going to be a meow me? gosh it's so exciting so I did film first scene to this which was me paying my $200 deposit um, waiting list deposit to the breeder um, but I didn't do it because my account was it was a um, restricted account so any transactions coming out of the account would have um, meant that I didn't get that month's interest so I kind of had a bit of a uh, moment where I didn't make it but then I thought about it I didn't make the payment but then I thought about it and I ended up making it that day but I didn't film it so I thought before I make my next um, lot of uh, deposits to the breeder I will actually film it because no one's here so I won't get judged so that's good so yes I will be a meow me it's very exciting. My parents never said accepted my request for having a, a, a cat. Um, however, I just went ahead and did it. And now they have accepted it. <laughs> Basically, I um, really wanted to adopt a cat. Um, that was the initial story. Is I really wanted to adopt one, a cat from a shelter. Um, I went and visited one and I really wanted her, but dad said no. I ended up um, yeah, it really went against my moral sort of standing, but I ended up going with a breeder. So then I found another breeder. I found two more actually, but one of them, she has all negative tests for all the heart diseases. Um, she has a lot of information available and I emailed her and she was really quick with replying to me. Like within probably five hours, she would have a reply to my emails. Um, she was very honest and she really wanted to know kind of what my lifestyle is, what kind of person I am to match me with the right kitten. I went with her. I went through the process of putting my $200 deposit down to be on the waiting list. Um, she's been really helpful. Like if you're in New Zealand, um, I would totally recommend you going through her. So let me know um, in the comments if you want her detail. And I'm so excited to be a yummy. <laughs> and then now today I have to pay the next 400. Also another thing to note is that I did um, request for a blue mitted rag doll. Parents came home and interrupted my filming. So I had to stop and I had breakfast and now I'd speak. I'd speak. So my ragdoll kitten's name is going to be Sir George. Or just George. Really just George. His name's mm. going to be George. <laughs> it just came to me. Like I was at work. I was typing away like this. I was like, mm, what name could I give him? What name could I give him? And it just came to me. Honestly, I was just like, oh my God. George. His name's George. George. And I thought, well... Well, I want him because <laughs> he's so majestic. He's gonna be Sir George. So then I gave him the name Sir George. So then this way he's got named Sir George. And then because of um, him being pedigree, his name will be Rag Royalty. That's the name of the breeder, Rag Royalty, Prince Sir George. <laughs> <laughs> My God, and he is the cutest thing ever. He is so, so. So, so, so cute. Oh my god. My husband. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just. I can't wait. I'm so excited to see him. He was born on the 29th of September this year. And so he'll be ready to come to me um, from the 29th of the December. So I'm very, very, very excited. While you're here, let me get onto my computer. I would show you the screen screen grab, but I can't because it's my my big bank account details and it's no good. So I'm going to pay her now. The on hold fee. So you pay two hundred dollar deposit, you pay four hundred dollars to secure the kitten, and you pay the last bit which is six hundred.
make sure I get the right account. Let me just double check one thing. Okay, so let me just get her email. Um, I know what to quote her. Key info, reserve pending payment on hold. Move some money around. So I'm just going to pay her now. <clears throat> 400 payee. Uh, Selena Rag Royalty on hold payment. Amy. For Hundy, uh, 400 to Selena Rag Royalty on hold. Take a screen grab of that and he's paid for. So now I have $19 left in my account. Go, there we go, there we go. There we go, it's done. <laughs> now, I'll email her right now and tell her that I have paid her and reply to the photos that she sent me of George. Just so beautiful. Thank you so much for the photos. Payment to see him grow. <laughs> Why is it so dark? it's done. Paid for George. Mm, this is so beautiful. <laughs> I am just so excited. So excited. <laughs> oh. I'll see you later. Those are going to be okay. Is there one way to find out? George's. I'm just vlogging. George's. What is it called? His grass. His indoor grass box. Yes. Do you think I can take these off? I'm not sure. They usually fall off. <laughs> so I might make them a bit bigger than that. Do we? Here goes the potty mix. Ah. This takes 30 litres and the bag is 40. So. Oh wow. Oh wow.
So this will give it a good soaking and it can wait overnight. Wow. Give another one tomorrow. Wow. Put the grass seed in. Wow. So and this is just what we're doing now. This is what just we're doing. soaking it now. Just soaking. For tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Right. Oh, wow. Wow. George's grass. George's grass. Right. There needs to be more coming off the side. How do you know when you've put enough? Well, I thought I had enough, but... In here? In you the don't have to cover here? it completely. Yeah, 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 no, you do. You don't? Yes. What, what would you know about it? <laughs> it is so rude. Why are you doing it that way? Yeah, just to get it more evenly. Yeah. I just thought I would do it this way for no particular reason and it's a sunny morning. These are so cute. They smell so nice. Hmm. Meanwhile. Here is Cheyenne's litter of kittens and Cheyenne. Yes, baby. What you doing? They all having a feed? They are on the move. Been a fantastic mum this time around, and she's such a lovable girl. It's quite amazing the, the growth and change in her maturity over the last couple of years. Hey, baby, yeah, is everybody having their morning breakfast? Bar one. Over here walking around. And then we've got someone over the back here sleeping. Hi. What's you doing? Yeah, you have a little wander? Yeah, come on baby. What you doing? Come on, sweet boy. Come on, sweet boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Oh, 
it at the end of their breakfast, was it, Cheyenne? Hmm? Hey, my girl. What are you doing? Hey, George. Hi, George. Hi, George. Good boy. Yeah. What you doing, sweetie? Yeah, what you doing? You're a chatterbox, eh? Yeah, you're a chatterbox. Yeah. Yeah, you're a chatterbox. Handsome boy. again I'm just doing a video of Cheyenne's litter four and a half weeks old we have got two boys still available in this litter and they're also eating wet food and toilet training at the moment Hi. and George George Say hi, Mummy. It's cuddly fat boy George. So just quick short videos just to update people on who's available, show families who already have kittens on hold, what they look like on a video versus photos. Hey, my boy. Good boy, Aiden. George loves his food. It's over the back there picking out and dry bickies. These guys haven't had a bath yet. It's too late in the evening now. They'll get a chill. So we will most likely give like, these guys their bath tomorrow. But that is Cheyenne's litter. An update on George's grass. This is what George's grass looks like. And this is how much it's grown. Oh, wow. Ready for George? I'm going to let it grow more. So it comes off here. So it's like, wee. This is Rag Royalty Prince Sir George. Hi.
Hi. I just wanted to say that it is now officially, well, okay, it's not officially, but it's about three weeks until Sir George arrives. Yay! And I am so excited. I can't wait. So let me update you because I don't have a video for you to show because um, Brenda hasn't taken any videos of him. However, I do have a photo of him and his family and his siblings together. That will show you right here, right, right here, right this area. That's his siblings. He is the second one from the left, the one that's like, apparently. So I FaceTimed the breeder with George. <laughs> and he was beautiful. <sighs> He's so cute. And I just, well, all of them are, but he, I mean, he is just number one, you know what I mean? But he's just so cute. And apparently, he's like his mum, where he likes to be a little bit of a cat, a cat, a lap cat, a lap cat, a lap cat. And he likes to sit on the breeder's lap as much as he can. And he loves to be high on his um, cat tree. So, good thing I got him two cat trees. Um, and apparently, he really likes his food like his mum and um he really loves to eat and he's apparently very fluffy and she also said that he is totally going to be fine on his own he doesn't have any like separation issues where some of the rag dolls that she's had um like need to be together because otherwise if they're like left on their own they like start crying and they can't cry whereas george is just like i do my own thing i just go and eat and I sleep and I just be Prince Sir George because I'm just so beautiful. You know, I just grow, you know. Um, so anyway, so so yeah, and apparently he's gonna be really fluffy, um, and just super chill, um, and just really good boy. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. So he is gonna be flying down from Auckland. The breeders in Auckland, so he's got a little big trip on his own to come to, to the uni with uni. Um, and I'm so excited. Oh yeah, so that's him with the siblings, and then this one here is him at 10 weeks old. As you can see his little white paws, his little white little paws, and his, and his back face, and he's just like posing there, like, oh my god, I just gonna be, you know, Instagram star, and, um, you know, I just got very crazy mum, and she's just crazy, but, um, she's so cool, and she loves me very much, and it's like, yes I do, yes I do, so George, yes I do, so yeah. <laughs> Um, the, basically the update, I don't, the official date was meant to be the 10th of January for him to fly down from Auckland to Christchurch. However, the transport company goes on holiday between, so this coming Friday, which is the 22nd of December, until... the 22nd of December until the 7th of January. So I don't know what's gonna happen about booking his flight because people have gone on Christmas holiday breaks. So the breeder said to me when we FaceTimed that she wanted them, um, all who were getting shipped out, shipped out, flown out to leave on the same day on the 10th of January. That's kind of the date that she has apparently told the pet transport company so hopefully we stick with that day because in my head that's the date or earlier would be fine obviously but like hopefully no later than the 10th because i really just really want want him and really want to meet him and i just want to cuddle with him and play with him and brush him and and maybe go out for walks together with him and like all of those things i really just want to do and especially i just really want to huggle him and and you know i want him to sit on my lap and i want him to huggle me and just i really want to huggle him and hopefully he will let me huggle me huggle me huggle, huggle him because i really just want to huggle him that's my story so that's the update with george so hopefully hopefully it will be the 10th or earlier 
that's what I'm hoping. He does get his last vaccine done this Friday. Um, and then obviously we'll start booking it maybe in January for his flight down. So, that's the update with the Sir George. And he is just so beautiful. And I just love him so much. And he's just like the light of my life. So I have a story to tell you. I have been late for work for two years in a row. <laughs> literally every day for two years. So, um, I, I literally felt like I had like nothing... Like, people say, oh, but work is the reason why you need to get up in the morning. And I sit there thinking, mm, not for me, okay? So for me, work is definitely not the reason why um, I get up in the morning at all. It actually depresses me, to be honest with you, because I'm not doing what I really want to do. And I know people say, well, I'll just go and quit, and you know, blah, blah, blah. And the thing is, I need the health insurance, so that's why I'm not quitting. Um, mm, that's why. And it's um, a pretty pretty secure jo job, as much as a job can be secure. And um, I'm just not willing to leave, basically. But I'm willing to complain about it. So, you know, just accept me on for that, okay? So basically, I've been late for work for two years. And maybe when I got told off, I would try for like a week and it would kind of work and I'll just go back to my ways and blah, blah, blah. But as soon as I just remembered, I was like, oh my God, I'm getting Sir George. So like, oh my God, I'm going to have to get up in the morning and like change his litter, feed him, change his water, brush him, play with him, cuddle him. And I have to do all that before I get myself ready in the morning and getting myself ready already takes like an hour. So I'm actually going to have to get up early. Otherwise I'm f right? So once I had this real moment of realization, oh my God, like my world changed. I have been on time, on the dot, when I'm meant to be at work, at my desk, at 8.15, every day, ever since then. So it's almost been like, a month, ooh, five weeks maybe? Yeah, probably about five weeks now, I've been on time. And it's all thanks to Sir George, because without him, I would still be late. And he has honestly given me, like, a reason to get up in the morning. Like, he is my reason for living. Like, I don't need anything else. Like people say, oh, but you know, you need your job to pay for your cat. And it's true. Absolutely. However, George is just so much cuter and it's such a better reason to get up in the morning. So that's what, that's what I'm doing. And I'm on time and I feel really good. And I'm able to get up earlier in the weekend now and actually have more of a weekend. Because I was usually sleeping until like 12 or 1 in the weekend and I would kind of waste my weekend and I'd get really tired because I'd oversleep and you know, all that stuff so I'm super duper super excited to have George and we can be friends together and we can huggle together and do lots of huggling together like this and I'm so excited and play with him I've got all his toys everything sorted apart from food and litter I've got the little box and that's my story so yeah and that's honestly just about it. I mean, there's really no other update because I don't have any photos to show. I don't have any videos to show you. I don't have any anything else. That, that's about it. But he's beautiful. And he is the light of my life. My white lightning. That's, that's what he is. My white lightning. I'll see y'all later. Okay? Video, see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Done it. Bye bye, Bing. Sorry, that's about it. That's really about it. <laughs> Such an abrupt. But I'll um, get an update for you when I have an update. Because I don't have an update. That's the thing. So I'll get an update for you later. Okay? Done it. Bye bye, Bing. Bye bye. Bye. this here. I never thought Pine Palette for his cat litter would take me, I mean would be this much of an effort to find. Out of everything that I've had to buy him to set him up, I didn't think that this would be the most difficult. Hello! This is a George update. Um, it is now almost less than a week until Sir George arrives a little bit exciting and I have been with the Penny McPenny I have been on a mission to find his litter 
and she told me that I have to use this exact type of pine litter for him. And I was like, oh, well, that'll be fine. That'll be really easy. Just go to Bunnings and then to the hardware store and just buy it. That's not going to be a problem. Out of everything I have purchased for him, this is going to be the most difficult. Because I went there and they were like, I was like, oh, I just want to, you know, buy this. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I asked them, oh, hey, I'm just looking for this fire time. Oh, we don't have that. I was like, what do you mean you don't have that? It's like, oh, because, because December was so cold, people bought our bought out all our nine pallets or something that they ordered and I was like oh, but, 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 but I didn't think this would be like oh, the most difficult for me to buy and so and so and so I then they were like oh we'll try my to ten and they might have it so then I tried them and then they said oh we don't have that brand we don't we have another brand and I was like oh but I, and she said I needed to buy that exact brand because that's what they're used to and then now I was just like well there's no point because it doesn't exist and I can't buy the pine palette litter from the online shop so 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 basic oh my god so basically We've driven around and then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to look on my team website and see what their one's like. And then I had a wee Google of, what's going on? Oh, no. Moral of the story is, I thought the pine litter wouldn't be this difficult to buy. I thought it would be the most easiest, so I left it to the very last minute because it's only about five days until George comes. But no, it's the most difficult. And it's because I can't buy it online. Well, I probably can. Uh, I tried to have a look, but there wasn't really much of it. Anyway, I believe the other brand that Mitre 10 has is very similar to what he's already used to. So I'm going to go by that. So that's George update. And I'll see you later. It's so close to George coming. I'm so excited. It's like a child waiting for Santa Claus to come. That's how I feel. Or like going to Disneyland. How excited you get when you go to Disneyland. That's how I feel. Oh, having a stretch, Sassy. Chicago. It is two days out until George comes and I have his uh, cat tree all set up like this. This is the two meter one here. It goes little. And then this is the window for him to look out on. Like this. Like this. And this is the 1.8 meter tree. And I just put them together for now. So he has a big, a big little mess there. A big tree to hang out on. Oh, 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 oh. This looks like it's on a bit of a lean. I don't know why. Why? Why is he on a bit of a lean? Oh. Better. It's January the 9th, Wednesday, January the 9th, and it is one night until Sir George arrives. <laughs> so, um, I have his safe room all set out. 
He arrives at 3.30 in Christchurch tomorrow on his flight. And um, I actually had his safe room all um, basically ready to go. I will show you. So the breeder sent out like acclimatization um, guidelines. And so I'm following them because I'm such a good owner. Um, and I just don't want him to be, you know, stress or whatever. Um, we're keeping in him in this room. We've blocked out the bottom. The um, we keep. Is that right? We're keeping him in this room for the first couple of days or week, depending on how he goes. So I'll show you what we have said. Oh, so because he's going to be in here with the bed, um, I decided to block out all areas where he could possibly hide. Um, this was recommended by the breeder so that he didn't go under and hide um, hide anywhere. So all of this here is all completely blocked so he can't go hiding. Um, and then we have his little food and water fountain station. I'll set this up tomorrow. This is his, his water fountain I got. Um, I actually have two of these but we'll just use the one for now. Um, it carries two litres. So I've got that and a little Sailor Moon mat and I'll put his food in here tomorrow um, which is this Hill Science kitten one that she told me to get. I am thinking of changing it to a grain free one at some point though but for now I'll stick with what she's recommended and this will go in his feeder here and then when it's time for his raw meat I'll I have a plate for him um, and it gets two tablespoons morning and night and this is this is whenever and obviously water's um, always so I'll feed him that tomorrow but that's that set up there and obviously I have his litter box ready to go this is what she recommended I'm not sure if I have enough in here I actually really don't know but it is quite deep and has to go quite far to like to like cover it so I don't know we'll see I'm not quite sure about the whole litter box thing to be honest like, I don't really know how much or how little or anything like that so She told me I needed to get these wood pellets because um, this is what they're currently using. So this is from the breeder. This is little, a little care kit from the breeder. So it actually has, um, well, and his leash and his brush that I got him. Um, so there's a blanket in here. So I'm going to take that out and put that and his toys and put that in here. And this is the blanket I made him. I really hope it, it's okay and that I've done okay because... This is my first time introducing a cat into the home and I want to do it right so I followed everything and I've got everything that he needs. Fingers crossed it's all good. We will see but it's tomorrow he comes so yay! <laughs> so exciting. Um, it's Thursday the 10th of January and it is the day George arrives. Um, we're just about to head out to the airport and pick him up. The flight was delayed by 10 minutes, so not too bad. 10 minutes. But um, yeah, we're gonna go now. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you. 
He's tired. He's tired. George. Okay. Hi, George. Hello. Oh, I can hear him. This is George. I just took the lid off his cage um, just because he was sitting in there so I thought maybe I'll just take it off and you can have a wee look at everything. Oh, there he goes. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, George. So pretty, George. You were just you were just the most handsomest. Okay, I've got you water and everything. Move him back in here. He was hiding up there. <laughs> so what we did was we um, removed the legs of the little bed. So now the bed's right on the floor. I don't know why we didn't think of doing that earlier. But now he can't hide under there. So that's good. So now he's kind of forced to be. Um, they were a bit more confident and not hide away so much. But um, when they came up before he was hiding under there. Because they 
Hi, George. This is his favorite toy. Did you kill it and eat it, did ya? Maybe it's poo poo time. Maybe it's poo poo time. Like a jungle gym. He's purring. Oh, yes, get your claws in there. Oh, good boy.
escape. Let's go on to the pop plant. Mm. Look at the way to get down to the ground. You're so cute, George. You are just so Good night. Good night. Good boy. He's been asleep for about five hours on top of his cat tree. I put the cat tree in his safe room. And he's, I think he's, he's a lot happier now. Can you see? He's just on the very top bit. Him, so I've just left him there for five hours to sleep. Um, yeah, just a little fluff ball at the top. Mm, so cute. It's only day two, so. And he only arrived like. <laughs> he hasn't quite been 24 hours yet, so. Yeah, I think this he's much happier being on top. I don't think he slept last night, so I'm glad he's finally getting to sleep. Oh, his ears are twitching. Okay. Oh my god, there he is. Oh. Is he fine? Is he woken up? Not quite. He's literally just woken up. I checked from the um, outside before I came in, don't worry. I wanted to make sure he wasn't awake before I turned up. George! George! What is it?
this is your new spot. You're gonna stay here. George! Hey. Hey. Come on! You can do it! Okay, that way. Alright. George! Over this way! This is the way you mean to go. Oh, okay. That way. You, you literally could come over here. Good boy! Good boy! Hey! Oh, yes, you scratch that. Good boy! You, that's what it's for. You scratch that, George. George! This way! <laughs> you literally could come over this way. Okay. No. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Spot George. <laughs> Spot George. We are you. Look at your paws going. This is quite good for, for oh, just over a day. Are you king of the castle, Georgie? What? Hey, good dear George. You want some wine? No, George, no, you are under age. <laughs> Said he's got an amazing stare, didn't she? Mm. It's probably just because of the blue eyes, though. George. Oh, there you is. George. In your little patch. Your little. What is it called? Your little. What is it called? What? What is this called? You are just so feeling good today, aren't you? I'm so happy that you're feeling good. I'm not sure if you peed or pooed yet. But there was some activity in the little box, so that's a good start. It's a very good start. Look at his feet. He likes to bite my nails. <laughs> Good Sir George, what a good Sir George. Yeah, you keep that scratching in there. Good boy. <laughs> he is just the cutest, honestly. What a good boy. Who's a good boy? Don't put your head like you like a wall just yet. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. My buttons. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? What are you doing?
Boy, Joy, good boy, you keep that scratching going, you keep that scratching going. Good boy, George. Good boy, scratch away on your scratching post. Good boy. Good boy.